Welcome to the glitzy world of Valley of the Dolls, a 1967 film that not only captivates with its portrayal of the highs and lows of three aspiring young women in the entertainment industry, but also prompts the question, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? As we delve into this cinematic journey, we invite you to share your cherished memories associated with this iconic film. Now, let's set the stage with some intriguing tidbits about the show. Did you know that Valley of the Dolls was based on Jacqueline Suzanne's best-selling novel of the same name? The film, directed by Mark Robson, unfolds as a melodramatic exploration of fame, friendship, and the pitfalls of success. Its narrative weaves a tapestry of dreams and disillusionment, a reflection of the turbulent cultural landscape of the 1960s. And here's a nugget for trivia enthusiasts. The film features an ensemble cast with standout performances from Barbara Parkins, Patty Duke, and Sharon Tate. Each character grapples with the seductive allure of the dolls, a metaphorical representation of the prescription drugs that become a coping mechanism for the characters. Now we turn the spotlight back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem? We would love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. So, share your thoughts, reminisce about the glamour and drama, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Valley of the Dolls. It's a journey worth revisiting and discussing with fellow enthusiasts. Valley of the Dolls, a cinematic adaptation of Jacqueline Suzanne's best-selling novel, emerged in 1967 as a cultural touchstone that reflected the shifting dynamics of the era. Directed by Mark Robson, the film traverses the lives of three women and wells, Neely O'Hara and Jennifer North as they navigate the glamorous yet perilous world of showbiz. These iconic characters, brilliantly portrayed by Barbara Parkins, Patty Duke, and Sharon Tate, grapple with the seductive allure of fame, the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry, and the destructive power of addiction. The narrative unfolds with a magnetic blend of melodrama and tragedy underscored by a soundtrack that resonated with the zeitgeist. The film's stylish visuals and unflinching portrayal of the challenges faced by women in the pursuit of success set it apart. While critical reception at the time was mixed, Valley of the Dolls undeniably left an indelible mark on popular culture, its resonant themes echoing through subsequent generations. Its legacy endures not only as a snapshot of the turbulent 60s, but also as a cautionary tale about the cost of dreams pursued at any cost. The allure of the dolls, both metaphorical and literal, continues to captivate audiences, making Valley of the Dolls a timeless exploration of the price of ambition. Sharon Tate, despite her initial disdain for both the novel and script of Valley of the Dolls, found herself auditioning, predicting the film's inevitable success. The 1967 movie, a pivotal point in her career, propelled her into stardom. Interestingly, Jacqueline Suzanne, the author-turned-actress, cleverly secured a minor role through a contract clause showcasing her journey from struggling starlet to a presence in the film. Notably, on the movie poster, an unseen Tom Selleck passionately kisses Sharon Tate's neck, adding a curious layer to the film's history. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the diverse paths that converged to bring Valley of the Dolls to life, intertwining the aspirations of its cast and creators. Patty Duke's vocal performance in the 1967 film faced an unexpected twist her singing was dubbed by Gail Heidemann. Despite this, the movie's soundtrack, resonating with the spirit of the times, contributed to its cultural impact. Interestingly, Patty Duke's foray into music extended to her last album. Patty Duke sings songs from Valley of the Dolls and other selections. Gene Kelly, in the liner notes, praised Duke's emotionally charged voice, though the album's commercial success fell short. Intriguingly, the film's ties to Broadway producer David Merrick and his production of Hello, Dolly! are noteworthy. The frequent references in the movie, where characters attend the stage production, align with the fact that Fox Studio had acquired rights to adapt Hello, Dolly! into a film. This connection adds a layer of industry intricacies to the narrative. Valley of the Doll's journey from page to screen involved not just the main cast, but also Jacqueline Suzanne, the novel's author. Suzanne, initially disinterested in the movie, secured a minor role through contractual negotiations, marking her transition from struggling starlet to a presence in the film. These lesser-known facets provide a glimpse into the diverse threads that wove together to bring Valley of the Dolls to life in 1967. Patty Duke's dubbed vocals, the connection to Hello, Dolly, and Jacqueline Suzanne's role in the film contribute to the rich tapestry of this iconic production. 
Composer John Williams received his first Oscar nomination for his work on the 1967 film Valley of the Dolls. This marked the beginning of an illustrious career, earning him a total of 53 Academy Award nominations, second only to Walt Disney. Williams' contribution to the film's soundtrack added a significant layer to its cultural impact, resonating with the spirit of the times. Interestingly, this nomination was the inception of a remarkable journey that would solidify Williams' place as one of the most celebrated composers in the history of cinema. The film, adapted from Jacqueline Suzanne's best-selling novel, had already garnered attention as the top-selling book of 1966, boasting over 30 million copies sold. This commercial success set the stage for the cinematic adaptation's exploration of the lives of three women navigating the challenges of showbiz. The narrative, enriched by the stylish visuals and unflinching portrayal of women's struggles in the pursuit of success, left an indelible mark on popular culture. Behind the scenes, the movie faced its share of challenges. Judy Garland, initially cast as Helen Lawson, faced issues on set, leading to her replacement by Susan Hayward. Director Mark Robson's alleged tactics with Garland, as claimed by Patty Duke, added a layer of controversy to the production. Despite these challenges, the film's diverse threads, from the top-selling novel to John Williams' Oscar-nominated soundtrack, wove together seamlessly to bring Valley of the Dolls to life in 1967. The intricate connections, from the acclaimed novel's success to the behind-the-scenes dynamics with the cast, provide a fascinating backdrop to the film's enduring legacy. Valley of the Dolls stands as a testament to the convergence of talent and challenges in the world of entertainment a journey captured in the notes of John Williams' first Oscar nomination. In a lesser-known twist behind the scenes of the iconic film, Valley of the Dolls almost saw Elvis Presley in a key role. Jacqueline Suzanne, the author-turned-actress, had a vision for the character of Tony Poehler and desired the king of rock and roll for the part. However, the casting took a different turn, eventually landing the role in the hands of another actor. As the production unfolded, Judy Garland, initially cast as Helen Lawson, faced challenges on set, leading to her replacement by Susan Hayward. Garland's departure resulted in a unique gesture. She received not only her salary, but also the sequined pantsuit intended for her role. The pantsuit, tailored to Garland's petite frame, found its way into her wardrobe, and she even commissioned additional copies in different colors. These backstage dynamics, from Presley's potential involvement to Garland's departure, and costume anecdotes, add intriguing layers to the narrative of Valley of the Dolls. Each twist and turn behind the scenes contributes to the rich tapestry of the film's production, offering a glimpse into the complexities that shaped its final form. As the curtains draw close on our cinematic journey, let's delve into the mesmerizing tapestry woven by the film that sparked emotions and resonated across generations. Valley of the Dolls, a timeless masterpiece, is more than just a story confined within frames. It's an intimate connection etched into the soul of those who've encountered its compelling narrative. Each character, each scene, a brushstroke on the canvas of our collective experiences, urging us to reflect on our own lives, dreams, and struggles. Did the whirlwind of ambition and fame strike a chord? Or perhaps the intricacies of love and loss left an indelible mark? The beauty of this film lies not just in its storytelling prowess, but in how it mirrors fragments of our own reality. Now it's your turn. What memories, what whispers of emotion does Valley of the Doll stir within you? Share your thoughts, your cherished moments, or the poignant reflections it ignited. Let this space be a vibrant tapestry woven by diverse perspectives and heartfelt connections. Thank you for allowing Valley of the Dolls to be a part of your cinematic voyage, for embracing its essence, and for sharing your unique perspective with us. Your presence enriches this narrative tapestry beyond measure. Gratefully yours for the exploration of celluloid wonders.